I bought a luxury villa. Now, this is very funny. I don't like sharing my investments normally. I think such things could, should be kept private. I think this is important to my subscribers and to my investors to make you understand that even we invest. Now, it's just not me. I know a lot of friends of mine uh, who are consultants with EMA who constantly trade into properties, you know. So um, it's important for you to understand that even we trade. Now, I'd like to share my journey of investment. Uh, I think I've made a lot of mistakes throughout my way. Even I started out really small. I used to invest in studios in international city because I thought it was a really good deal. The ROIs are quite high. But then, then I, how I started dabbling into the, um, you know, three to five million segment, I was more comfortable over there. Uh, today, I want to explain in this video my journey of why I dabbled into a completely different segment. In a funny way, an investor inspired me. He was like, so hey, let's do it. But let's do a little bit of a background. Okay, we're going to again study as to the process on how I got into this investment. So about let's backtrack around two weeks ago, I was shocked because I started, see when you invest into, let's say four bed, uh, sorry, two bed downtown Dubai Creek Harbor, where else, City Walk, Maritime City, you're buying something right now at around 4 million dirhams. There was a market where you're buying around 2.5. So we had some space there, right? So I'm buying something around 4 million dirhams and then I have to sell it around 5.5, 6. My profit margin is around 2 million. And then same thing, you know, very rarely see townhouses. Okay, I'm investing somewhere. There was a span in 2021, I could buy something on 1.6 and then it goes towards 3.5. That is really exciting. Unless, unless you're buying something like a semi-detached villa, something comparable to the club villas where you're investing somewhere around 3.5, 4, 4.5 million and you have the potential to jump up to 9 to 10. That is unbelievable. I think only a very strong product like EBA or Dubai Hills can achieve that kind of uh, results, you know. Then I started dabbling into this particular segment. Like for example, fairways. You invest somewhere around 16, with people who bought fairways bought it somewhere around what, 16, 17, 18 million dirhams. And today it's trading at 43 million dirhams. And I'm like, what's stopping me? So. I started studying mansions. Now, primarily because the prices, yes, started rising, right? So I started seeing independent villas being sold for 11, 12 million. I was like, okay. Then I stumbled upon a mansion. I'd like you to see this video of mine where I was studying a villa in Damak. With just a few factors, basement, mini theater, infinity pool, size of your master bedrooms, kitchen, having a show kitchen and a dirty kitchen, view, whether it's golf course or lagoon, with a few factors like these, how can you make profit of up to 20 million dirhams? Now, why a house like this is being sold in a secondary market between 38 all the way up to 45 million, even higher, but just for, for understanding numbers, we've made a very specific report. But now I have the opportunity to buy it between 16 to 18 million dirhams, the products I'm targeting for this video, because this channel is all about investments, numbers, how to maximize profit. We're going to understand because right now, because of supply, we're dealing with a very limited supply product because in the market, there are townhouses, semi-detached townhouses, small independent villas, large independent villas, mansions. We're dealing with mansions, which is only a two to five percent supply. So then I was studying this Damak. So in Damak, there are three types of mansions. It goes by V55, V75 and V1000. I was very excited about the V75. Now, what's... So another investor taught me this. Not not the investor who got me into buying this villa. That's it. So what investor taught me that he was like, so hey, we primarily look into three aspects, all right? Living room size, kitchen, master bedroom size. Now the master bedroom size ideally should be 4.5 by 4.5, not for mansions, but for a good, good size of a master bedroom, it should be 4.5 by 4.5. 
But the problem with most developers are that they have 4.5 by 4.5, but that includes the bathroom, the wardrobes. So the size gets very tiny. So if you've observed most houses, whether it's townhouses, even independent villas to a very large extent, the bedroom sizes are quite sh shrinked. If I study this, so V75, now I enjoyed V75. One, you'll see me standing in this basement. I was I was shocked by just that basement, that revolving door. It reminded me of the Stark Industries, you know, Iron Man house. And then there was a mini theater, steam sauna room, and a proper family entertainment area. See, this that home cinema was seven by four meters. That's a good size room. The entertainment room was 5.75 by 6.6. .6. Again, and Next to the steam and sauna room, there was a proper gym area with bathrooms for the guests. It was just that basement itself was unbelievable. Then when you go to the lounge, you have these areas with double height ceilings. So that's also a very important feature. What does double height ceilings do? They give you light. So the standard height of an apartment or a villa townhouse in Dubai is around 3.3, a, a good apartment. The bad ones are 2.5 to 2.8 meters. You should never invest in those. You feel very claustrophobic. 3.3, so a double height ceiling, we're looking at 6.5 by 7 meters. So when you have, and in some mansions, it goes all the way up to 8.59 meters. It's beautiful. It gives this I don't know, heavenly presence in the house. It's so beautiful, a lot of natural light. So of course, double height ceilings. You have your formal living area, you have your family living area. Again, you've got the formal dining area, family dining area, but most importantly, you have two kitchens, a show kitchen and a dirty kitchen. So if you study the floor plan, your show kitchen is by 3.5 by 6.65 meters. Again, a good size. And a dirty kitchen is 3.5 by 3.2 meters. Now, most importantly, let's just jump to the master bedroom. Now the master bedroom just the bedroom's carpet area was 5.5 by 4.6 meters. The walk-in closet was 4.5 by 4.6 meters. The standard bedroom size is 4.5 by 4.5. Here, the closet alone, and it's mentioned her closet. That's quite, it's quite funny. Oh, the her closet is 4.5 by 4.6. The his closet is 4.5 by 2.8. I'm not gonna discuss why, but sizes the size mattered when you enter the master bedroom and this particular mansion this was trading at around uh, between 16 and 18 million dirhams now we were just studying whether we want a golf course facing unit or a lagoon facing unit so i was studying this product another product i was studying is okay, here in damak of course there were a couple of uh products being uh, being traded i really enjoy the autograph it made a lot of sense to me autograph the finishes the facade was beautiful all of them are beautiful i'm just talking about personal preference so i was really observing the autograph in uh, demac's uh, collection of mansions and i was also curious about there was this mansion on a lagoon in demac lagoons it seemed quite interesting but you know i I'm a person, a lot of instincts, you know, I get this instinct and I'm, then I'm fixated onto it. So I was very fixated onto autograph for some odd reason. So, but I've made a, I've made a very uh, decent comparative analysis where I'll be showing you the facades and the floor plans of every interesting option in Demac because this is my personal preference that doesn't make, it holds zero revel, relevance to investors because I believe every investor has his own angle, it teaches me something as well. My job is purely, I'm a consultant. I give you the numbers, I give you the facts and figures. I keep you away from certain developers and products. And I sort of steer you towards the safer investment options. You still haven't gotten into why I bought Sinai Island. I'm getting to, I'm getting there. I'm getting why I bought a villa in Sinai Island of all these options. Okay, so we, we ran through this. Then I'm gonna quickly take you through uh, Nal Shiba Gardens. We, we did study Nadal Shiba Gardens as well. Okay, so we have this comparison sheet where we have compared Autograph, a V64, uh, 55. Then we compared Morocco and in Demac Lagoons. 
we've also compared Utopia and Cavalier State. So I've got I've given this all these sheets where we compared the numbers. I've added this very interesting master bedroom sizes, kitchen configuration. So this is an addition, something that I've added in my Excel sheets where we're going to study master bedroom sizes as well because see now the market yes it's getting very competitive we need to stay on top of the competition right that's why we need to get more technical a bit more specific so I've added in this excel master bedroom sizes kitchen configuration and of course my remarks on it the next product we're studying is mirage by oasis now i completely you do know i i love ema as a product right i look at the facade the facade is just beautiful modern minimalistic contemporary the prices make complete sense again if you study the floor plans um beautiful floor plans the only difference was that imar you had to have to wait around four years to get your return now i'm a trader right i enjoy dabbling into a bit of forex stocks crypto real estate I really enjoy studying all of this. I, I enjoy studying the numbers, right? So I was really studying uh, Oasis. People who invest in Oasis 100%, they're going to make 100% ROE. It's a brilliant product. It's all about what your strategy is, what your exit strategy is. So again, put out the um, floor plan and I've given you the numbers where we're comparing the five and the six bedrooms in Mirage beautiful product so this is how your comparison should be we're going to study all the products in the market so if i'm targeting mansions and i'm targeting that sort of a profit jump where i invest now again I, i'm understanding leverage as well correct because in ima i'm investing around 80 percent of the value in demac i'm investing 60 percent so i'm not exactly investing the whole 10 million dirhams i'm investing around 6 million but i'm taking advantage of the market so i'll have to study the conditions the macroeconomic conditions of the market as well to make my to maximize my profit i've added that i've added nadal shiba gardens now nadal shiba gardens by miras tenured investors have we've studied these floor plans together and they have mentioned that this is one of the best floor plans in the market phenomenal floor plan so i've added this floor plan it's it's quite self explanatory but uh if you if you look at the again the master bedroom size it's 4.8 by 4.6 this is the difference between a mansion and an independent villa 4.8 by 4.6 was the size of a closet in the mansion so this is why you have to really now you must understand who your seller demographic is. So I'm looking to sell who's going to pay me top dollar. Where will I get my maximum return of investment? But I've put the numbers of uh, Nadal Shiba Gardens. Again, beautiful, beautiful product. So Nadal Shiba Gardens, I've compared it with Acres. Acres, again, was a very unique product. I had an interesting call with an investor from Hong Kong. But he mentioned that I believe Acres has too many courtyards. Again, I'm just informing you what I've been informed. There's too much of court, too many courtyards, which has dug into the living space, which makes the living space slightly smaller. Now, see, I have to cater. See, if I'm investing into a property, I need to cater to my to my end user demographic. I need to understand what, let's say, that particular buyer from Hong Kong, from China, from US, from India, what is he looking for? What is common quality, space, size, size of the plot? features such as private basement privacy is a big common factor yes there are some people who like entertainment that's also a demographic so having your basement having that private pool having that show kitchen dirty kitchen those double height ceilings the quality of the product in general so these are these are factors that's why i give you out the comments comments given to me by investors so that you understand the whole process okay if i'm buying into this product who am i going to sell it to now my favorite part beachfront villas so i'm getting into why i got into sinaya island so when i look now look at that facade by the keel unbelievable imagine living on a house like this in front of the beach okay that's the dream right i think a house on the beach is 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 a dream it is beautiful it's fantastic i, I mean waking up in the morning running into the sea definitely not in august in dubai but any maybe probably september october yes from six months from then onwards it is a dream beautiful villa what i love about this is that yes in palm jumeirah now the products have gotten a bit bit run down right these 
were phenomenal. And then the only other comparison in Dubai is coral living. Beautiful floor plan. Over here, it does not matter. This is the only point. When you have a private beach, it is the only point where you don't have to get into a mansion. Again, the floor plans are phenomenal. Please look into this floor plan, private pool on the beach. But what are the prices? The beachfront villas, uh, the bay villas, 13,263 built up is selling at 43 million dirhams. And in Palm Jebel Ali, an 11,222 built up is selling at 40 million dirhams. The price per square foot is around the 3,500 dirham per square foot mark. Hence, we come into uh, the last product is something in Jumeirah Golf Estates. It's an example. Uh, this product is selling at 43 million dirhams. I have no idea why it's selling at 43 million dirhams. But then um, I don't want to get into the developer and the product and why. But this is why you need to study the market, right? I will I will tell you some products trading 40 million plus, which doesn't make any sense. But if you invest in the right product, you have this opportunity to make phenomenal return on investment. Now, let's get into Sinea Island. So, so I was studying. So basically, if you saw that video of Tamak, you would see that I was studying all flow plans, locations, mansions. I was doing it for my investors. Then one day I get this um, message from one of my investors in the US and I really like this guy. He's, he's we're very, we're very, uh, we have got, in fact, I've got really friendly terms with some investors, right? So we discuss. So he sent me this message. Where he was like, uh, Zoheb, I think I explained this in one of my previous videos that, you know, look into this project. So I went to the location. One I, When I saw the location, I saw, so I was standing, I turned to my left and I saw Sinaya Island. I turned to my right and I saw Marjan Island. Now I explained in my previous video that Marjan Island felt like a Dubai Marina, you know, like go to Dubai Marina. There are multiple buildings, you know, every building, the design is different. Each building on its own looks fantastic. Yes, but you know, I enjoy that symmetry. You know, I enjoy when one master developer develops a community, right? It, it, it's got something different, you know, that symmetry gives rise to beauty. That is why locations like downtown, It'll always hold value. I'm not saying downtown. I don't know how much it'll appreciate. It's sort of, you know, stable in terms of pricing. But it always retains value. Arabian Ranches, uh, Emirates Hills. These are 25-year-old communities, but it retains value. Why? Why? Because of symmetry. It's beautiful. So I studied. Um, so that is why I took a step back from Marjana Island, even though big, big news. I mean, you know, of course, I've been keeping hawks high reason I took a step back because the prices were quite high you know I, I it didn't it didn't I just couldn't bring myself to to invest into something that was so that expensive but then I saw the pricing now personally again in terms of quality I think some of the top products in the market Al Barari right why because they use Al Nabud as the contract Al Nabud is one of the best contracting companies in Dubai okay Expo uses Al Nabud as contracting phenomenal quality Ellington Again, phenomenal quality, Shoba. And then you have this Shapurji Polanji, who's not a developer, he's a contractor, but again, phenomenal, phenomenal contractor. These five, in terms, if they build a product, they exactly know what they're doing because they have a legacy of over, I don't know, three, four decades. So when I saw the facade of Sinaya Island, and then I studied the master plan, and then, of course, you know, I had information. So if you see the news, um, I have to just, I have to get the name right. I don't want to give a wrong name, but if you see the news, so UAE's first licensed lottery operation, it's called the Game LLC and it operates under the name of UAE Lottery. Now I have to read this definition. What is, so we call it commercial gaming. I'm not going to use the other word. You all know the other word. If you don't know, send me a DM. I'll tell you what the, the word is, right? So according to GCGRA, any game of chance or combination of chance and skill where an amount of money in cash or cash equivalence is wagered. That is placed as a bet for the purpose of winning a sum of money or other valuable items. Now for me, this particular sentence, right? Cash or cash equivalence was so exciting because that means they're leaving room for crypto as well because of course that's why i love dubai i love uae they 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 understand the pulse 
of the crowd that's coming to Dubai. 6,700 millionaires just last year came to Dubai. I was reading record just half this year, 9 million visitors to Dubai. 9 million. The number of people that are coming to Dubai, it's unbelievable.